Good morning everybody. My name is Cliff Austin. This video is the 10th video and the 16th painting of the Create 30 Challenge promoted by Alain Picard. Um, please leave a comment on Instagram or Facebook and YouTube or YouTube. You can see my work at cliffaustin.com and also the Curtis Center for the Arts is providing free lessons and they're linking to this video through YouTube. Please check them out. My work can be seen at Mary Williams Fine Arts in Boulder and Studio 8369 in Grand Lake. Um, this painting that I'm going to do today is a, a late spring painting. The photograph was taken at Decker's several years ago and I just liked the, the blues and the warms and the cools and the greens and um, I thought it would be a lot of fun to try to do that today. We're going to start with our normal one-thirds so that we can keep our relative proportions and shapes in a good um, proportion. We want to try and get these shapes so that they work together in a fun relationship. And so I'm just going to quickly sketch in the basic shapes. Just to get some ideas of where things are going. And again, I thought I'd try to do um, these, this painting with soft brushes. Seemed like it'd be a lot of fun to do that with soft brushes. These are watercolor brushes, a one inch and a half inch watercolor brush. So that's going to require doing a little bit of um, paint, different kind of paint consistency. I like what I like about this painting is the kind of light on this side that's showing through and then the darks and the blues and the warms and the cools are really exciting. So we're going to mix up some paint and as I normally do I'll start with my dark shapes first. And my darks I like to keep fairly translucent, almost transparent. I'm painting on an old um, 9x12 canvas panel that I had started a long time ago and never really finished. And I set it aside thinking I might finish it later, but never did. So, I really recommend recycling if at all possible. paints I use are Gamblin. I try and stick with a consistent chemistry. But other brands have some amazing colors. Winsor Newton has some great reds. Amazing reds. Old Holland has got some blues and greens that are just spectacular. There are so many brands out there. So I'm just trying to get a rough shape of my darks in there. I'm 
just get a rough idea of what's going on in there. So I like the warm darks against the cool darks. Just want to get some impressions, some feelings, some temperature mostly. Nice cool temperatures down in here. Most paintings that have good contrast will catch um, your eye and will be most appealing. And contrast comes in many shapes and sizes, obviously, but we can have shape contrasts, large and small, color contrast, complementary colors. We can have um, edge contrast, hard and soft. Here I'm working with a warm dark against a cool dark, I'm trying to get some of that interest going on in there. We have this demarcation, this line. We're going to have some nice lights in there and warms in there. So now I'm going to go towards the blues in here. So that's pretty nice blue. Let's see if I can catch that value. It's kind of like this. Kind of like that. And this is a one inch watercolor brush. And I'm using titanium white and ultramarine blue. I get these big shapes in here. Just to get some of this fun stuff in here. And I'll go back in and put the lights in. But right now, I'm looking to get this kind of feeling in here. And I'm modifying the values. So some of it's a little bit darker pure blue and some of it's lighter gray blue. I'm trying to get some um, variety. <clears throat> This edge, I want it to be ruffled a little bit. I want this to be ruffled and soft because it goes in the back. It's got these nice little shapes that complement <coughs> the darks. Little spots, sparkles. To make that stand out a little bit more, I'm going to just lighten that value just a little bit. I'm using the edge and the point of the brush to get smaller marks. And you can use the fat, the belly, of the brush to get interesting directional marks. And that's all kind of fun. Yeah, something like that.
cool, cool. This shape down here is really, really warm. It's an edge and a line. It's a shape that I think will be really cool to add. There's a bit of sparkle in there. So I'm not sure I'm going to put the weeds in there, but let's put the warmth water shape in there, and that's burnt umber and cadmium orange and a little bit of white to lighten it up to see what that looks like. And some liquid to make it nice and smooth and flow. Let's see what that looks like. And that goes right in here. I think that could be a little bit darker. A little bit warmer. So I've touched the burnt umber. A little bit of ultramarine to make it darker. making vertical marks. Up and down marks to see if that will make any difference. Well, I don't know. And then we have this nice patch of dark right over here. So I take some ultramarine and I bring it down to a gray blue with some burnt umber. And I'll put that right in here. Just like that. And this thin slice of color right through there. And there's my white piece, and then let's go back to that light brush color. Let's put some light in there. And that light looks like it's cad yellow, cad red. Let's cool it down with a little bit of alizarin crimson, and then add white. White is a graying agent. Ooh, that went really, really pink. I'm going to add a little bit of cad yellow to bring it back to the yellow. I'm um, sorry, to the orangish. And that's an interesting color. It's almost a red salmon. Let's see what that looks like. Might work, might not. Let's see. So it's going to be right in here. Just going to make some marks. So I'm touching the canvas and just flicking up. Touch it and flick it up. Mix your color. Make your mark. Now that's all right. I'm going to lighten it up a lot more. So I've added some titanium white to that. And a little bit of yellow, cat yellow. Yeah, there we go. That's interesting. Change the edge of that just a little bit. What if we put something down here? Hmm, that's interesting. Now we're ready to put the bright whites in there. Oh wait, I'd like to see more of the blues down in through here.
starting to run out of time here, so I'm going to go very, very fast at this point. We're going to put some blues in here, and then some of these bright um, light on the trees there. We have a little bit of light on the tree here, and a little bit of light on the tree over here. So I've mixed some cad yellow and cad orange into this green pile. And we're just going to add some light over here, a little bit of light over here. There's a lot more light over here. Kind of gets the idea across, doesn't it? Without being literal. All right. Now all we have to do is put the snow color in there to give it some um, sparkle. So I've mixed some liquid into my titanium white. I'm going to leave it pretty white. It's got a little contamination of the red, so it's kind of a warm white now, which I think is going to work just fine. Switch to my smaller brush. I'm really picking up some paint. And there's a piece of light that shoots right across there. And we have light that goes right in here. of light right in there. And so I think I'll finish this off camera. But that gives you the idea what this painting is all about. From here on, it's just a matter of adding just some um, specific shapes to uh, make it more legible. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Stay safe. Please make a comment on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube if you can. And have a great day.